Most new game devs fail before they even start. Not because they can't code, but because they make the same three mistakes over and over. Avoid these and you'll start building momentum. The first one is starting with the Steam game. Everyone wants their first game to be the big breakout game, but your first game shouldn't be about business, about making money. It should be about learning. Starting game dev with a Steam game is like learning how to build a house and starting with building a mansion. The first thing you need to do is build something small like a shed. So the ideal path is to start with smaller projects to learn specific skills and systems. Not because you need to get it out of the way, but because these skills and systems are there to build your foundation. You need to build skill before you can build a Steam game. The second mistake is watching too many devs or content creators. I know you're watching me, but this is key. You get stuck in a loop of watching tutorial after tutorial after tutorial, thinking you're making progress, but you're not actually learning anything. Watching is not doing. It's really hard to passively learn anything just by watching it, especially if it's something technical or in-game related. Now you can learn things like theory and game design, but for the most part, for the most skills starting out, you need to learn by doing, by creating projects, by creating systems, by actually trying things and failing. I know it's easy to get stuck in this. It's easy to fall into tutorial hell and just keep watching and watching and watching because you feel like you're not actually learning things or you don't know anything when you go to make your game or work on a project. I promise it's key that you don't overwatch, that you don't rely on YouTubers or content creators or devs information and just start building out projects. And the third mistake is chasing trends or ideas. We always see the new hit Steam game from the indie dev or a game that you didn't know about from an indie dev that you discover or you're just watching another content creator's content and you see a game that they're making and you think I can make that too or I can make a game like that and go viral or I can make a game like that and hit it big. But that's just the wrong way to do it. Chasing trends is always going to put you behind the curve. If something's popular right now, if it's a trend right now, most likely by the time you create it, even if you had the skill to create it, most time, most likely by the time you get to that point, it's going to be gone, it's going to be past, and it's not going to be a trend anymore. Also, just because someone else creates a game and works in a genre and masters that genre or does really well in that genre, doesn't mean that you will also. Doesn't mean that you have the understanding, doesn't mean that you have the skill to also be successful in that genre. What you should do is focus on game types, game genres, game styles that you prefer to play, that you enjoy. And with that, I mentioned chasing game ideas. Every week, we always have new ideas, something because we played a new game or watched a new video, and maybe it wasn't a trend, but we always have new ideas cycling in our mind, and we think, well, maybe that's the next one I should work on, and we start on that, and then we think, well, maybe that's the next one we work on, and we start on the next one, and then a week later, we think the same thing over and over again, never actually completing projects, never actually developing real skill, or getting far enough in the game dev process to develop the skill that actually matters. So instead of chasing trends and chasing ideas, try to find something that you enjoy, that you want to play, and try to complete those projects. In the beginning, it's not about completing games that are going to make it viral or make it big or make you a lot of money. In the beginning, it's about building skill, it's about understanding the process, it's about understanding what it takes to actually create games. And you only learn that by completing projects. So remember, start small, create small projects, build a foundation, focus on skill and not hype, and that's how you'll grow as an indie dev. And if you also want extra help, extra support in your game dev journey, you should check out my private game dev club. This is not a course, this is game dev support, indie support by other like-minded devs like you who are actually putting their skills to the test, creating game after game after game. In the last seven months, Members of my group have published 68 games. And no, these are not Steam releases, but these are actual published games that you could try out right now that are building their skill, that they're finding out what works, what doesn't work. In this private club, you get step-by-step -step guidance on what to do from day one to day 365, your first year of game dev. You get weekly game dev strategy calls where you go over specific tools and strategies and we also discuss what's happening on each other's projects and try to support and give advice on the games. 
On top of that, there's ready to go custom Unity scripts and custom tools that you won't find anywhere else. Like I said, this is not a course. This is a network of supportive game devs that are there to help you grow and help each other grow. If that sounds like something that interests you, check out the link in the description. And before we go, I wanna say I appreciate your time. I appreciate you checking out this video and I really hope that you are successful in your game dev journey. I'll see you next time.